been a little while since I've made a video in part because I've been busy, but I did want to stop and momentarily tell you a little bit of what's going on. I have been continuing to work on my novel, Children of Wolves, and have made some great progress. It's just a big project, a lot of different characters. I'm still learning quite a bit as far as the revision process. I don't think I've been real efficient with my revisions, so I'm learning how to be more efficient. But there's some good stuff coming out of my work on the novel. Another thing I've done is worked on a couple shorter stories. Those have a little bit quicker turnaround. So I've got one of those that I've actually sent off to some beta readers and plan to submit for uh, a magazine, uh, a digital magazine of short stories. I have been doing a lot of reading and buying some used books. Um, our, we have a local used bookstore. Well, not a used bookstore. It's a used store, but it has books and they do a great job of organizing their books. So I can pretty much go in there every time, look in the couple sections I care about and find stuff that I want to read, which isn't great for my pocketbook, although they're, you know, two bucks a book at the most. So they're really pretty cheap. So here's what I've got. I've been reading through the Iliad for the first time. I guess that's something that probably most people read in college or high school. Whatever impressions I had about how hard or easy it would be to read completely off base. It is a very intriguing story. In some ways, it reminds me a lot of Avengers Endgame because it's just this ongoing massive battle, but better. I wouldn't say that it's completely easy to read for modern readers because you might feel like it's drawing certain things out too long. There's a lot of names and obviously they're not English names, so there's some pronunciation challenges as you're reading. Some other books I have on the backlog to read, Flannery O'Connor, The Complete Stories. A friend has encouraged me that Flannery O'Connor is one of the greats of American literature and I have read some of her uh, short stories, but not all of them. And so uh, one thing that helps me to read an author is to own a physical book. If I just go get it from the library, that's generally a little more of a kind of a Netflix mindset for me. I'm going to read it and then return it. And you, know, you kind of have that deadline in mind. So you just sort of read it quickly. Whereas when you own it, it's a little more leisurely and you can actually live with the book for months as you read it. It doesn't have to be something you just hammer out in a couple weeks and return. I've already read this next one, Dandelion Wine by Ray Bradbury. Read it years ago, um, and I, I don't know that I could even tell you what the plot is exactly. It's been that long, but the impressions it left upon me are pretty clear. There's such a strong Midwest nostalgia, and I'm, when I say Midwest, I mean American Midwest nostalgia uh, for childhood. So I enjoy re reading his style. He's way more poetic than I am as an author, but I think it's helpful for me when I write to have that influence of people that are more poetic. So when I was a kid, I had a friend down the road who had a big cardboard box full of sci-fi paperback novels. My recollection is they were all his father's. We were pretty close in age, still kids, but he was slowly reading through them. And so I remember covers of these books. I didn't really read any of them. He was reading them and showing them to me. And I remember this one being in that box when I was a kid. And so I found it nice hardcover edition. I mean, it's really pretty cool. So I've got that in my backlog to read. Two books by David Farland, uh, at least the series that I think he's best known for, which is the Rune Lord series. This is the first two books in the series in mint condition paperback. So I grabbed both of them. I think they were a buck a piece. Hmm. I think... As far as writing and creativity, that's pretty much all that's going on right now. I'll see you in the next one.